you are new, then welcome to my channel. It is Deb back again with another video for y'all. Today, we're going to be doing a wig review from Icy Hair. So, I finally ordered a wig from Icy Hair, and I'm so excited to open it. I mean, I already seen it because y'all know at the AliExpress tried to play me, I open all my boxes now, and I have to, like, check it before I even do a wig review. So, yeah, it's, it's a good wig, so we're going to talk about it. But first, I want to go ahead and talk about the wig that I'm wearing because, you know, you get new subscribers, you get new viewers, and they probably don't know, you know, where the wig is from. So, from now on, when I get on here, I'm just going to, like, tell you where the wig is from just for, you know, the new people hey how you doing so this wig right here is from my very first video and that was a haul full of synthetic wigs i got this from my local beauty supply store and yeah so i don't have a link for y'all unfortunately but i absolutely love this wig it has you know lasted a really really long time like this is a really good wig and i only pay like 35 dollars for it but yeah, since I don't have a link for it, I'm not going to talk about it too much. But just in case you were wondering, because I've been getting so many compliments on this wig. So many. And it actually has lasted for a really long time. So if you can find it, I highly recommend it. Okay, but let's go ahead and get into this icy hair review. Alright, so as y'all know, this is the box. The box. My box is beat up, as y'all can see. You know, um, AliExpress don't really be caring about your packages or whatever. And it has like the made in China little thing right there but yeah this is the box and so we're gonna open the box open the box and the wig is sitting on the top now i put it back exactly how they sent it to me so the wig is on top and this is the wig but first you always want to check you know what i'm saying if they sent you some goodies now a good wig company always is going to send you some goodies and i just feel like some of them don't be trying to see you the goodies and it's just it makes a difference you know what i'm saying especially with like small businesses nowadays like you see the difference between a big business and a small business for example sephora i am so disappointed by the way that they send my stuff they just put it in a brown box with some brown packages and just send it i feel like you know sephora is classy it's girly they could have put like some um some logo tissue in there they could have made their box a little bit more glam but yeah like that's disappointing versus a small business that also sells cosmetics like i feel like they go above and beyond and they send you goodies you know stickers and scrunchies and you know what i'm saying like they put a lot into it some girls put candy in their packaging packaging is everything let me just say that if you are thinking about starting a business or if you own a business right now step up your packaging like packaging is everything it's an experience you feel me so i digress anyway they did put some goodies in here they gave me some lashes these are a bit small of what like you know what i usually wear but you know what i'm saying they sent some lashes i appreciate it these are some 3d minks so yeah they sent lashes also they sent a wig cap it's always good to get a wig cap even though this ain't exactly my color i use a lighter one than this one but it's very nice if they thought to put a wig cap in there always nice and after that it's just their car with some beautiful beautiful ladies on it but yeah but other than that that's all that's in the box okay so now we're getting into the wig this wig is a 613 20 inch 13 by 4 150 density wig okay so it comes with the net so we're going to remove this net from the hair and i'm feeling it it's very soft but y'all know that don't fly with me because like i always tell y'all synthetic wigs are also very soft when you first get it now already just by me you know what i'm saying putting my fingers through it it's a couple of strands that came off but it's nothing major you feel me i just had two strands in my hand just by rubbing it i don't know if y'all can see that but a couple of strands just came off so but it's nothing major it's not like shedding too too crazy but i'll give it a couple of days before i determine if it sheds a lot or not so it also has paper on the inside we're going to remove that So as you can see, it has clips. It has four clips all up and through. That's always good to make sure your wig is super secure. You know what I'm saying? Secure the wig, secure the wig. And also you can see the lace, how far it goes back. And that means that you could part it a lot of different ways. So the length, very much, very much a 20. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's giving 20, like she long. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. 
Okay, so if y'all can see that, cause it's blonde, so I know y'all probably can't see too well. But as y'all can see, the lace in the front, it, it just looks really good. Like it looks, it looks great. I feel like I'm gonna slay this wig. I got this little head thing so I can start working on doing baby hairs better. Y'all know I'm a beginner at the wig, so I'm not that good with baby hairs. I've never had baby hairs. I feel like I ain't got no edges. So yes, yeah, sis, I've been working on trying to, you know, get better at the baby hairs and everything. So I bought this little styrofoam head. I want the cloth one that obviously like hairstylists use, but they didn't have one at the time of when I went to my local beauty supply store. They were sold out, I guess. So I got this little styrofoam head for the meantime. Now I will say as I'm parting this wig right now, it does have like some black and brown kind of strands. Okay, so I went ahead and made one part. Y'all probably can't see, but right here, it does have like some black and brown strands to it. I wouldn't exactly say it's bothering me to the point where I'm like, this is a bad wig, but I do want to let y'all know that they do have some like black and brown strands kind of all up and through. Let me show y'all another part that has some. Well, I don't know if that's like a factor for someone to say like that's a bad wig, but I did notice that on my last 613 wig, I didn't have any of these problems. I didn't have any like, you know what I'm saying, brown hairs here and there. So it doesn't bother me, but I'm just letting y'all know. Okay, so this right here, what I'm holding in my hand is the lace part that's like transparent and the part that you can like part and everything. So I'm just kind of showing y'all what it looks like from that point. These are where like the track starts and everything. So I feel like it's a really good amount, I would say, of when they start showing, but that's kind of what that looks like, just so y'all can see. But overall, I feel like I give this wig a really high rating. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not dying this one, so I don't know how well it dies, but I have heard a lot of good things about Icy Hair, like a lot of good things. It's actually one of the bigger companies, you know, up there with like Yumi's and Adula and all of that. So I would say, um, you know, first impressions, I'm giving it a 10, first impressions, but you know, as the days go by, when I actually wear it, I will be installing this wig in about three, four days because my birthday, my birthday is November 4th is coming up and this is the wig I'm wearing to slay. I'm gonna slay. So yeah. Every year on my birthday, I always want to be blonde. Every single year, it never fails. Like, I just feel like blonde, you know what I'm saying? Blondes have more fun. Barbie doll status, period. Like, how could you feel ugly with blonde, blonde hair? Like, how? I also feel like the lace is super, super like thin. So I know for a fact, and I don't say this to be like colorist or anything, you know, you gotta watch what you say because people are very sensitive nowadays, but I don't ever say this to be like, you know what I'm saying, one of, one of those people. But for me, I don't have a hard time with a lot of the lace because my skin tone, like when I lay it on there, it kind of just blends really well. And I just say that just because you know what I'm saying? If you're a darker hue, a darker complexion than me, that may be an issue. Like you may have to tint it, you may have to, you know what I'm saying, put concealer, whatever it is that you have to do. So I like to just say that because it's like, I don't know if you have to do anything extra for your lace, I don't know how well it holds that, if that makes sense to y'all. But yeah, I don't usually like do anything to my lace much because it's like, it blends so well with my skin. That's all I'm saying. Okay, and as y'all can see right there, like that's some more shedding. Just letting y'all know the real, the real. I'm not gonna sugarcoat. So, you know what I'm saying? It's shedding every now and then. I don't know if it's gonna be a huge problem when the wig is actually installed on my head, but we shall see. I'll let y'all know. I am so sorry. I always forget just to say how much it costs. Like I'm just used to not, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't talk about money, like, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this wig right here, I got it on AliExpress. It cost me $181 and then they put a $10 tax. So in total, it was $191 is what I paid for this wig, 20 inches. So as y'all know, 613 hair is relatively expensive. So that's why, you know what I'm saying? I was okay with paying that. And the longer you go, that's why I got 20 and not, you know what I'm saying, 26, like I really want it. But the higher you go in inches, the more money it's going to be. 613 is just expensive.
it's just expensive you know what i'm saying so yeah i pay 191 dollars for this wig always look out on their instagram or try to go to um girls who have codes and sometimes they will have codes for wigs so, so i highly recommend doing that first to go to youtube type in um icy hair reviews then go to your filters and filter like the latest update but you want to make sure um it's a girl who has like a certain amount of subscribers because they don't just give codes to anybody you know otherwise then i have a code for y'all but i'm not i'm not there yet we're not there yet speaking it into existence but we're not there yet so i would look for um a code that a girl has and yeah i would try to do it like that first before you pay if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you comment down below have you ever tried icy hair let me know Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your post notification bell on so the next time that I drop a video, because you don't know when, then you'll be notified. I love you guys and I will see y'all in my next video.